Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI, here in Angry La, and I see you up there too. Let's go see the uh, the High Llama, shall we? I welcome you once again to Angry La, honored luminary. As I believe you know, it is my privilege to serve as High Lama of this most sacred temple. I am to address you as Your Holiness, correct? Might I ask what you and your people know of my companion? Why everything, of course. We have awaited his coming ever since the day he entered this world, in the castle of Dundrasil. Waiting for him? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I say, nothing more. Tell me, do you recognize the symbol on this banner? It is the emblem of Dundrasil. Since the Age of Heroes, the princes of that nation have come here to train with us for six years of their youth. Your young friend was born a prince of Dundrasil. Thus did we expect him to come here as a boy and study under the great Grand Master Pang. Sadly, that was not to be. So if fate had been kinder, you would have spent a good part of your childhood here. What of his tutor, this Grand Master Pang you speak of? When the Lord of Shadows brought the World Tree low, the Master set out to summon a magical mandala to protect the temple from destruction. The spell succeeded, but its power was too great. Grand Master Pang did not return. A noble sacrifice indeed. Now that the Master is gone, it falls to me to guide you. Come to the Field of Discipline. It lies behind this hall. There is something you must see. It is a shame that the Grand Master cannot be here. I would have liked to meet one so noble. Come, let us see what His Holiness has in store. Again, Hendrik, you know, of course we're going to do that, but I need to loot the place first. Yeah, that's, that's just how it goes. That's how we roll in this team, you know. Right then, we got stashed away up here. Anything of interest? What are you doing up here? Oh, sorry. Anything I can take away with me? A couple of books, alright. I'll settle for that. The Sutra of Angry La. The Master teaches that man is the world and the world is man. To devote oneself to good deeds is to serve the world. To bring goodness into the world is to protect it. The Master teaches that through suffering we learn of ease, and through sadness we learn of joy. To love mankind and thereby the world, this is our duty. Man is the world. Goodness serves the world, learn things from the bad, and thereby love the world. These are the wisdoms of Angry La, realm beyond the clouds. These are the precepts by which we live. On the nature of the naughty stick. The grandmasters of Angry La wield a mighty weapon whose name echoes through the ages. I speak not of the wavecutter scimitar, nor the staff of torn clouds. No, I speak of the naughty stick. The origins of this legendary tool of instruction can be traced back to the very founding of Angry La. It is said that the stick itself chose the very first Grandmaster. Some believe that it was carved from a branch of Yggdrasil, and that even a dragon could not break it, though it tried with all its might. Of course, it is best known for its use in punishing young monks for lapses, lapses in, in focus. The pain it inflicts is rumoured to be so severe that acolytes fear that their very souls have been spanked from their bodies. Oh boy, we better uh, see if we can get a hold of one of those, huh? File of magic water. All right. See, Hendrik, that's that's what we do. We go find all the stuff, and then we go where we're told to go. Oh, 
Alrighty, let's do it. Okay. Beyond those doors lies the field of discipline, where students of Anguilla strive for enlightenment. Before we tread upon this hallowed ground, let me tell you a little of our history. And of the luminary of legend himself, Erdwin. Before setting out to defeat the Dark One, Erdwin came to our temple to learn from the Wise Ones, who made their homes here even then. The first Grand Master, Ayi, accepted him as a disciple and trained him in the secrets of spiritual realization. But he did not train alone. During his time here, he met someone. Someone who would change his fate forever. Who was this person? Another of Ai Yi's disciples. A young mage whose talent outshone that of all who had come before. A man named Morkant. Yeah. Erdwin and Morkant would train together every day, each striving to outstrip the other. Though they were fierce rivals, they became firm friends. When their training was complete, Morkan joined with Erdwin in his quest to slay the Dark One. Without Morkan's magic, he might never have prevailed. Before setting out, they carved an inscription into this stone, a pledge of eternal friendship. It has been a treasure of ours ever since. Morkant. I have not heard the name before. It does sound similar to another name, though. Now, allow me to show you to the field of discipline, if you would be so good as to follow me. <laughs> Thanks for holding the door open. What you got? Welcome to the field of discipline. Since the age of heroes, many a would-be warrior has spilt sweat and blood upon these flagstones. If your karma had been different, this is where you would have trained under Grand Master Pang, like all the princes of Dundrasil before you. I have brought you here so that you might stand in the footsteps of your ancestors. An unbroken line leading all the way back to the Age of Heroes. Even your grandfather, Lord Robert, completed his training here. The memory of his achievement shall live long in the temple's memory. His achievements? <clears throat> Pang was a harsh master. With this implement, disciples whose efforts were lacking were given motivation, directly to their fundament. It became known as the Naughty Stick. <laughs> During the course of his six years of tuition, your grandfather's right honorable posterior was paddled an unprecedented 10,000 times. <laughs> what the hell? The tale of Lord Robert's road to enlightenment lives on to this day. Every disciple knows that he must focus at all times, lest he face the same fate. And he hasn't sat, sat down since. A legendary achievement indeed. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. Lord Robert overcame every challenge set for him by the Grand Master, and emerged stronger every time. The fall of the world tree would not have been enough to extinguish one so resilient. He is alive. I sense it. Tonight there will be a modest feast in the High Hall to celebrate your long-awaited arrival. We would be greatly honoured if you would join us. We may not be able to aid you as we would have done were Master Pang still with us. But in this respect at least, we can provide.
That night, the High Lama holds a banquet in Joker's honour. Finally. The long-suffering disciples are overjoyed to hear uh, to have an evening's respite from their training, and eat, drink, and dance till the early hours. Then morning comes. Awake at last, hmm? It is high time we were on our way. If the Grand Master was still alive, perhaps we might have learned something to help us in our fight against the Lord of Shadows. Sadly, it was not to be. Oh. I thought we might have had a bit more uh, to do up here, but okay. Everyone's okay, shall we? And the hermit? What news of him? Forgive us, Your Holiness. The monsters on the mountain path were too strong. We were unable to reach him. I see. Your Holiness, is there a problem? Yes, Sir Hendrik. I fear there is. You see, two weeks ago a hermit visited us, unannounced. Then just as suddenly departed for the top of the mountain. Hello? Sounds like a ramp. Whatever for? That I do not know. The moment he heard that Master Pang had passed away, he ran from the temple. He was last seen in the path to the summit. The mountain has become infested with monsters emboldened and strengthened by the rise of the Lord of Shadows. It is a perilous place indeed. This being so, I dispatched a group of disciples to return him to safety. As you can see, things did not go quite as planned. I have trained all my life for a moment such as this, and yet I have failed my first true test. I have brought shame upon Angrila. Might we be able to offer some assistance? I thank you for your kindness, but you are guests here. I cannot ask you to undertake such a dangerous task. A knight of Heliodor does not abandon an innocent in need. These people have shown us great kindness. It is only right that we do them a kindness in return. Would you not agree? I would. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I like Thank these guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I cannot allow you to bear this burden alone. I shall come with you. Oh, okay. We must depart for the summit of Mount Pang Lai without delay. After exiting the temple, we will take the path to the east in order to begin our ascent. Alrighty. Do you want to grab a coat or something? No? Ferocious creatures. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Out of the way, Llama. Uh, another one of these, okay. Once you show you truly understand one of the core principles of the teaching of Aaron, uh, defeating a monster with a particular pet power. Okay, which one? Oil serpents, okay. Blaze of glory, gotcha. Okay, I think we can do that. Oh, damn it. Are we? Oh, I thought we were pepped up, but uh, we're not. Uh, any more side quests here? No. 
to start with. Okay, so I think that's um, me and Hendrik need to be pepped up for that. So it shouldn't be too tricky, but we'll... Uh, well, if that happens, I'll just run down and find one of the dragon things, and then we'll, we'll do it that way. Or maybe we'll see some on the way up too. I suppose we could use those pet pips, actually. We won't, don't seem to get many of those, so I'd rather save them, actually. Alright, well, let's go this way. Yep, yeah, that's right. I'll be careful, don't worry. We've got the High Llama with us. Good old cave to go through. Oh, no sparkly spots. Hmm. Oh, hey. How's it going? Oh, what? Right. No, oh, it was uh, Eric that had a um, ability for dragons, didn't he? Goes defense down. Nice. Man. Uh, just go for. Well, what else have you got here? You got oomph, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Why don't you get do that and Hendrik as I'm sitting on my ass? Okay, and then we'll try. Try that, but no, let's do an axis of evil. Still hanging in there, are you? Nearly there, though. Ha, ha, ha. Ooh, go, Sylph. All is well that ends well. Alright. So let's, uh, I'll just grab this mount quickly. Okay, got it. Now, let's just have a little look up above. Okay. That wasn't a hole, was it? No. I thought, so, yeah, I thought that one of those darker parts was like a hole in the ceiling or something. Oh, another dragon. Let's go up here and grab this chest. Sorcerer's ring. You know, we haven't really got any magical folk with us at the moment. But, um, okay, we'll fight the fire guy and then we'll fight the dragon. Okay, we have fought one of these before, but uh, we haven't fought one in here. Easy enough. Okay, so I'll, um, I'll just heal up now. And uh, take this drag now. Need a 
little. Okay, took care of that guy. Not too much trouble. Let's go fly up a rock, flip, rock face, but can't go upstairs, huh? Actually, I will rest up because I uh, use quite a lot of magic. Uh, yeah, rest. Just uh, let's go until night. A bit more mysterious up here. Is that guy Rab? I mean, it doesn't. Could be too thin, but his moustaches look kind of the same, didn't they? Hmm. Yeah, and there's his back. Huh. It seems we are too late. Is this the hermit we came in search of? Unfortunately so. He was in deep meditation when he breathed his last. I am glad at least that he was prepared to meet his fate. But that posture, it is awful. Uniquely awful. I know it from somewhere. Uh. <laughs> Incredible! Issue one of the Ogler's Digest. <laughs> and in mint condition. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> uh, indeed. It seems our friend here made his peace with the world before departing. This, at least, is some small solace. <clears throat> But this... This is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil. Why would a lowly hermit have such a... Oh, by the skies! Can it really be... Lord Robert! Oh, right, yeah, of course. Lord Robert, Rab, yeah. Your grandfather was Master Pang's most fervent disciple. Can he have chosen to follow his mentor to the next life, perhaps? No, he is still breathing. What? His spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter of time before he passes the point of no return. But there may yet be a way to save him. If you were to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. But how? Is this even possible? The ancient teachings tell us that the summit of Mount Pang Lai stands at the crossroads between this world and the next. If you will permit me, I can perform an ancient rite that will send you to the place between worlds. But it is not a decision to be taken lightly. Once that place is entered, there is no guarantee of return. Well, will you take that chance? Will you visit the void and bring Lord Robert back to us? 
Hell yeah. Hmm. Very well. I will prepare for the ritual. Tell me when you are ready, and we will begin. Got it. Okay, uh, wait, uh, hmm. I thought that was like a little pot there or something. So before we do that, we're gonna stop in at the, uh, forge, because we got some new recipes, didn't we? So, uh, so we'll just do this together. Just have a quick look. So, oh, crap. One button. Uh, forge items, there we go. So, did we got some, yeah, Dragon's Bane. Looks pretty cool. Did we get a great worm fang? Yeah, we did. Ooh. Damage dealt to dragon family monsters up by 20%, but it's not as good as the as the uh, one we've got. Unfortunately, it's good as the demon's bane. But it, well, if we get it to plus three, it could potentially be up there. Hmm. That's nowhere near as good as um, uh, Hendrix's axe there. What about, um, was there an axe? No, there wasn't. How are we looking on knives? Sword breaker. Yeah, we couldn't quite make those either. Alright, let's have a look at that armour. That's not quite as good either for uh, uh, Hendrix there. And all that. Okay. Platinum headgear, that's the one that I need to make to, yeah, the plus 51 charm. I'm pretty sure that's going to tip us over the edge there. What was that? Drop by Chasmonaut. Hmm. So yeah, that's pretty much what we need. Just need a magic beast horn. Posh waistcoat we made, smart suit. Yeah, plus 33, but the posh waist plus 40. And I think what we have on is even more actually. Dragon mail, there we are. I could make one of them. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we'll stick for the moment. We've got a whole host of accessories. Sorcerer's Stone. Didn't we, we got one of those, didn't we? It's a big boost to magical might. And loads of rings, all sorts. But nothing I think we're going to make. I think we're going to be okay for now. Yes, we are. Okay, so next time we will... Well, see if we can save wrap. Until then, take it easy.